Hello, I'm Jensen. Time for a digital knowledge. Number double start with F. Pause one. Let's go. As a seaside suburb located on the peninsula, it was originally known as Shark Bay. Due to the sense from the cactus farm in the local area attracted a large number of sharks. The name changed from Shark Bay to Safety Beach was changed by Tasmanian pastoralist John Aiken. He changed the name of the area when he safely brought on shore a cargo of livestock through the solo water. Today, area of Sandringham was first known as Gypsy Village before it changed to Sandringham in the year 1888. The name change was changed by local landowner and parliamentarian Charles Jones, inspired by the Prince of Wales Sandringham House. When it comes to hidden gem in Sandringham, the World War I submarine HMS J7 wreck located in the suburb is one that most local doesn't even know. This J-class submarine launched in 1917 by Royal Navy of United Kingdom. It was built in Devonport Naval Dockyard of Plymouth in England. It was designed in response of German submarine with the surface speed of 18 knots with 1,760 tons and 275 feet length overall. It was capable of travelling 19 knots on the surface and 9.5 knots underwater. Eventually, after the end of World War I in the 1919, the Royal Navy gave six of the J-Class submarine includes this HMS J-7 to Royal Australian Navy. Due to the submarine condition after the long voyage, and during the deteriorating economic condition, all the six submarines was decommissioned and marked for disposal in 1922. All things considered, HMS J7 was dismantled and the hull sunk in 1930 as part of the breakwater at today's location of Sandringham Yacht Club. Today, you'll also be able to see the wreck clearly on the Google Map satellite view. So when it comes to Scorbies, it was once as a Brussels sprout capital of Victoria. The area was surveyed in the 1857 and the township was developed in the 1870s. The area was named after an Arctic explorer, William Scorby, who had experimented with Theresa Manningham near the area. So when it comes to the suburb of Seabrook, there's not much record regarding the naming history of the area. The area of Seabrook was first developed as Western Gardens Housing Estates in the mid-1990s. The suburb name was named after Seabrook Boulevard, which encircled the eastern part of the suburb. Do you know that Seaford is another suburb originally part of Karum? Swam. The suburb name was suggested by a local councillor, Sidney Pullman. Apparently, he named it after his hometown, Seaford from Lincolnshire in England, by dropping the letter L. In flavour of Seaford, the name became the official name of the suburb, Seaford. Meanwhile, of today's sea home was at 125 acres of land selected by Robert William Ray. The name sea home was chosen as the name of a housing estate in the early 1920s. 
marketed as a next stage of development adjoining Altona. Confronted with the name origin, there's little to be known. Originally known as Belgravia, Sidon was declared as a suburb in 1906. It was named after Richard Sidon, the Prime Minister of New Zealand between 1893 and 1906. Why did they name it after the Prime Minister of New Zealand? Aha! Uh -huh. Because, 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 because he was resided in the area before he moved it to Benigo and later New Zealand. Richard John Seden, who served as the 15th Prime Minister of New Zealand between 1893 and 1906. He was more currently known as the Premier of New Zealand, as the title of Prime Minister was only used since the 1907 when New Zealand was granted dominance status by the British Empire. He is today New Zealand's longest serving head of government. He was born in Eccleston, Lancashire of England in the 1845. In the year of 1862, with the age just 16, Richard Seden decided to migrate to Australia and reside in the area of today's Seden before moving to Bendigo. Four years later, which is in 1866, Richard Seden moved to West Coast of New Zealand and that's where he started his political involvement with various local bodies. When it comes to his personal life, he married Louisa Jane Spotwood in 1869. Who is Louisa Jane Spotwood? She was the daughter of John Stuart Spottywood, one of the first farmers in the area of today's Spotwood. Meanwhile, the suburb named Spotwood was named after John Stuart Spottywood. The settlement of Selby occurred in conjunction of Mansi Creek. The name Selby was first chosen as the name for the local railway station in the 1904. As a compliment to a local landowner and councillor, George Selby. Sky. It was named after Sky. Huh? It was named after the Owl of Sky in Britain as several farm settlers in the 1850s came from there. Somerton is an industrial suburb. It was named after Somerset in England whose economy is supported by light industrial as well. Alright, that's it for the Melbourne suburb start with S part 1. Okay, let's talk about Melbourne suburb start with S part 2. Next time. Anyway, if you found my video is interesting, please give me a thumb up and subscribe my channel. Before I go, let me introduce myself. I'm Clem from Clem Traff Log. I will see you on my next video. Goodbye. Hiya, finish!